on to a Mint exclusive. Mauritius has moved a step closer to plugging the loopholes in the India-Mauritius double tax avoidance agreement that allows companies to avoid paying taxes on their investments in India. The move comes at a time when the Indian government has expressed its reservations about companies routing their investments through Mauritius to reduce the tax burden. Mint's Remya Nair joins us on the phone line. Remya, take us through what you've learned. Yes, uh, the Mauritius uh, Financial Services Commission, which is a regulator of financial services except for banking, has amended rules that will make it difficult for companies that exist only on paper and do not have proper business structures to claim tax benefits under the double taxation avoidance agreement so that, uh, that is there between India and Mauritius. Uh, in an amendment to the call, what they call the Guide to Global Business, the FSC has said that companies will have to establish that management and control of these companies lies in Mauritius. In addition, they'll have to ensure that they meet at least uh, one of these criteria. Right. Assets of at least $100,000 in Mauritius, or having their shares listed in an exchange licensed by the FSC, or having a yearly expenditure that is on lines of a similar company controlled and managed uh, from Mauritius. In addition, they also say that at least two directors in the company should be resident in Mauritius okay. with appropriate qualifications. All of this uh, may impact investors who root their investments from Mauritius to avoid paying tax in India. As you know, under the uh, bilateral agreement uh, between the two countries, capital gains from sale of securities can only be taxed in Mauritius, and which is close to uh, zero in Mauritius. And consequently, mm -hmm. uh, we see that almost 40% of investments uh, that come into India come through this uh, island nation. All of these requirements will have to be now met uh, by 1st January 2015 if uh, the companies need to continue getting benefits uh, under this treaty.